Hello and welcome to this video on percentages. Percentages is a very important concept in aptitude exams. Not only will you find questions on percentages in the quants, that is your math section, you will also see application of this concept in various data interpretation questions. So by the end of this video, you will learn the concept of percentage. You will learn how to calculate percentage of a number. You will also learn how to express a number as a percentage of another number. And most importantly, you will learn how to calculate percentages faster in order to save time in the exam. So let's get started. So the word percentage actually means per cent. That means per hundred. Now cent is actually a Latin root and century is another word which has come from the same root and cent means hundred. That means if I have to explain you the concept of percentages. So let's say if I have a, a box of chocolates or cookies and let's say if I have hundred cookies and if I take 10 cookies from that box of cookies and if you ask me what percent of cookies you have so I can say I have 10 by 100 or I can say I have 10 percent of the cookies now a similar concept to this one is also the concept of fractions what do I mean by that fractions so for example 10 percent is nothing but 10 by 100 that means everything by 100 the base of 100 right so this can also be expressed as 1 by 10 that means if you simplify the fraction you can also say 1 by 10 it can also be 2 by 20 it can also be 3 by 30 or 4 by 40 or whatever it is ultimately when you simplify this fraction 1 by 10 is what you get so concept of percentage and fractions is sort of similar and you can express a percentage as fraction or a fraction as a percentage similar concept also is the concept of decimals the concept of decimals so for example if you say 10 percent i can also say it as 0.1 right how do i do this is if let's say you have to say 10 percent 10 percentage is nothing but 10 by 100 so let's say you have 10 here and this is what you have 100 right so ultimately you get 0.1 so we saw that percentage is everything by 100 and we also saw how this can be converted into fractions or decimals or vice versa let's move on to this concept so imagine i have your birthday cake here so let's say your birthday cake has three uh, flavorings right vanilla frosting chocolate frosting and strawberry frosting right and don't mind if you like don't like any or uh, you know one of these frostings so if let's say I ask you that what percentage of your cake is actually chocolate frosting right so these are three equal parts and let's say the whole your entire cake is nothing but 100% right so if this entire thing is 100% this is 1 by 3 part this is also 1 by 3 this is also 1 by 3 so if I have to calculate this if total is 100 it would be 100 by 3 so this is nothing but your 33.33 percentage that means the chocolate frosting is 33.33 percent right now similar to this concept we can also understand when the concept is of percentages is more than 100 that means in this situation let's say i have uh, this bar of chocolate and let's say there are small small pieces all equal pieces right so one two up till you know three four up till eight so if I ask you this total is 100% right what part is this one right so if total is 100 and there are 8 equal parts so this part would be 100 by 8 right or I can say this is 12.5% now it can also be more than 100 so for example let's say if we were to distribute one one bar of chocolate to everybody right this whole 100% to one and if let's say I got something additional that means in addition to the full bar i also got this so what percent is this right if this entire thing one thing is 100 percent this would be 100 plus how much is this like i said equal parts so this would be 12.5 and this is also 12.5 so ultimately how much i get 100 plus 12.5 plus 12.5 that means 125 percent so a percentage uh, 
uh, if we have to describe it can be zero to anything right now if you have to calculate simply let's say percentage of a particular number if somebody says okay calculate 50 percent of 400 how can we calculate this simply we can say 50 upon 100 into 400 so 20 gone here so all you get is 200 or you can simply understand is that 50 percent is usually if i have to describe this in fraction terms it would be 1 by 2 isn't it 50 by 100 can you see this is 1 by 2 that means 1 by 2 half of 400 which is 200 directly right now the other interesting concept here and which is very helpful in the exam is if let's say you have a number and if you have to calculate let's say 10 percentage of 10 percent of let's say 437 so instead of worrying saying that how will i calculate 10 by 100 all you see is the moment you have 10 percent or 10 by 100 what you get ultimately this is number 437 so 437 upon 10 that means a decimal place would move from this side to this side right so that means your number would actually become 43.7 right similarly if I ask you to calculate 1% of a number, let's say number is 3, 4, 2, 3, 0. 5, 6, 7. So you don't have to worry about this. All you have to say is 1% would be if 10% when we have to calculate the decimal moves one side, in the 1% it moves two places. That means the answer would be 34.23567, right? this is how you calculate this one percent to ten percent this is a very powerful concept for faster calculation in the exam now on the right hand side you have also a question which says sometimes it's given like let's say what is 20 as a percentage of let's say 80 so how will we calculate this 20 by 80 into 100 so 0 0 let's say 2, 4, 8, 4 and this is 100 so this comes to 25 or you can say 20 by 8 is 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 of 100 is 25 percent right or if let's say they ask you what is 80 as a percentage of 20 right so 80 as a percentage of 20 so this is also simple 20 and this is 4 so you can say this is 400 percent now let's move to faster ways to calculate right so in the exam if let's say you have a question like 18 percent of 750 so how will we calculate this in the exam to save time instead of doing 18 into 750 right we don't want to do this right so i just taught you the concept of finding 10 percent right we can also say 20 18 percent is 20 minus 2 percentage is this fair to say 20 minus 2 percentage and 10% of a number we know how to calculate 10% of a number so 750 10% of a number point decimal would move this side so that means 10% is nothing but 75 if this is 10% 20% is nothing but double of that that means 20% is 150 and we have to calculate 20 minus 2% so 150 minus here what would it be 2% now we also learned 1% would be decimal moving to two places that means here and here so that means in this question your one percent would be 7.5 two percent would be 15 that means 150 minus 15 orally your answer is 135 so what i am trying to explain is instead of doing a direct calculation you have to be smart and you have to use a different approach to save time in exam and 20 minus 2 represents the same thing similarly here now i would request you to pause the video here and maybe quickly calculate on your own how will you do 49% of 45600 so again this can be 50 minus 1% isn't it 50% we all know is nothing but 1 by 2 1 by 2 of 45600 oral we can say this is 22800 1% would be nothing but decimal moving to one side second side that means minus 456 so this would be and i do this orally i don't say do 10 minus 6 4 and all i'll say this is 44 this is uh, 3 so it will be 22 344 
your answer. So instead of doing multiplication by 49 and by 100, we did it this way. Let's practice a few actual exam type questions. So for example, 42 plus 65 percent of 320 equals 244 plus root x. So you have to calculate the value of x. Now 42 plus 65 percent of 320. Again, how will I calculate 65 percent of 320 if I have to calculate this number? I can say 50 plus 10 plus 5 percent, isn't it? 50 percent is 1 by 2 which is 160 plus 10 percent would be decimal moving this side 32. If 10 percent is 32, 5 percent is nothing but half of this that means plus 16. So how do I get 160 plus 32 is 192, 198 and 208, isn't it? Now 208 plus the 42 this side that means this total thing is 250. So they are saying this equals to 244 plus root x that means the value of this has to be 6. So you can mark 6 here? No, just a second. They are asking the value of x not root x. So root x is 6 but what would x be? 36. So be careful in the exam while you mark these options. All right, let's move to the last question in our video which says 96% of 425 equals to x cube plus 381. Now 96% of 425 has to be that means this number whatever has to be less than 425. Now x cube plus 381. Now 381 that means somewhere this number has to be uh, added to 381 and still the number would be less than 425 isn't it? Mm. But if you look at the options like 27 you can automatically reject. The, if you look at the option D 5 cube is 125 27 is way too high right so of course b and d are anyways rejected now we have options 2 and 3 so 96 percent of 425 like i said how will i do it i will do it orally i'll say this is 100 minus 4 percent so 100 minus 4 4 percent i know 1 percent is 4.25 so 4 percent would be 17 that means 425 minus 17 forgive me if i am going a little fast 408 now 408 I have to equate to 381 plus x cube so minus 381 if you do what you get is you get your 27 right that means you can mark 27 no 27 anyways is rejected x cube is 27 so x would be 3 so you will mark this option so thank you for watching the video uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video where I discuss with you the powerful concept of fractions and how can it can truly really give you an edge in solving questions faster in the percentage section.